Air conditioning and heating. Air conditioning system. The air conditioning system is mainly composed of the compressor, condenser, evaporator, expansion valve, drying chamber, and air conditioning control panel. Air conditioning control panel. First, turn on the power switch to select the air flow, and then turn on the refrigerating switch. Select your desired temperature by using the up and down arrow. When fresh air is needed, turn on the fresh air switch. Prior to shutting down the system, first turn off the refrigerating switch and then the power switch. It is generally recommend selecting the automatic mode. Attention, the operating temperature for the air conditioner unit shall be no lower than 17 degrees centigrade. As a high power device, the air conditioner cannot be started unless the engine has been started up and is running in stable condition. Before the engine is shut down, the air conditioner must be off. Otherwise, the battery may be subject to power shortage. The air conditioning outlet is located on the passenger control panel, which can be used to adjust the airflow and direction. Heating and defrosting. The heating system is mainly composed of the heater, radiator, and the heater control panel. Before using, first open the two water valves of the heater pipeline. Vehicle heater control panel. Before using, first turn on the water pump switch, then the heater control switch, and radiator fan switch. Turn off the above switches in reverse order. Attention! The water pump switch cannot be turned off until the heater switch is off for 3 minutes. Shut down the heating system before shutting down the engine. The warm air outlet is mounted on both sides under the passenger seat. Defrosting system. The defroster is mounted below the dashboard. When defrosting is required, first turn on the defrosting switch on dashboard. The defrosting switch has two positions. Turn off the defrosting switch after finishing defrosting. Defrosting air outlet. Attention! When the environment temperature is high enough, the residual heat of engine circulating water can be used directly for dehumidification and defrosting.